Yeah, she's asking a very good question here. That one sister, some girls do not menstruate continuously. They may menstruate even after six months. That is very normal. That is very normal because of hormonal imbalances. Where bad we just upon a regular cycle, especially when you may answer, because answer says I love you skip even for three months. I love you see your name. So because of hormonal imbalances, you've not established your menstruation cycle. So at times you can have that. And another thing, stress, huh? And are those when they are stressed, in fact, they can be for more than even eight months without menstruation. Another thing, there are some ladies here when you are talking about a sissy, it's one of the what is impossible. You have to have a kilo kumi. So those who are did this, it will not work on mothers. So the way you are starving your body so that you don't add weight can cause what you call hormonal imbalances and you cannot even have those your regular menses. So that's why that one is very common, especially this high for, for these are university students. They are on diet. Those ladies, most of them, they are not even fertile. Why? Because even the uterus in attack of cholera. Cholera means the chakula. Now you are starving it. So at times, because of the nutritional, poor nutritional status, it can make you not have what? Your menstrual periods which are very regular. And another one, that's a, those of us like me, I used to like uh, long dresses. I used to like long dresses, even as I know, in fact, I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a For those ladies who should over-exercise, eh? if you just over-exercise, at times you can do what? Missing your pain? Or if it comes, it might what? Irregular. It can be regular two months, three months, five months, unless there's any other disorder. I like such kind of questions. Yes? A good question. Even not only that, those as you even during the process of flowing, no one go, go. So there's no more, so there's no more, so there's no more, two of them, 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 two of
rates. So 28 is the average. So if you meditate in a span of three weeks, that is very normal. If you can meditate in a span of that five days, that's very normal. No, no. But when you talk about 28 days, it does not apply to anybody because that's what you call the average. So you are very right. So this one, this question is very right. This may be a time to be like five, a time to be like the truth. Yeah. So if you just see your message from 21 days up to that five days, you are very normal.
Your health is your responsibility. Yesterday, but one, I was in that gynecology department. We go to one. You know what, your mama, when you put my eyes, where the type of cancer is on a bit. And I want to tell you that I'm so surprised because I have a very beautiful daughter, very beautiful, very beautiful. I'm surprised. But there's a lady there who is as old as 25 years who is having cervical cancer. And when I was trying to check the history of that lady, so the age at which she started sex, she told me at the age of 20 years. She already had sex at the age of what? 20 years. And I was taking more history. Now, how many men have we slept with? She told me numberless. Okay, now when she was telling me numberless, now how was that sex? Was it penetrating? In fact, in the Kwanyama Kwanyama. So, as of now, where were you? The Ramakothia in the university. Having cervical cancer. I'm telling you, I was so happy when I was being told to come to such kind of schools because we have girls here. And sex can predispose you to survival cancer. That's why most of those are mothers. Maybe we have our aunts here or our mothers who died because of survival cancer. And one of the risk factors of that survival cancer is for those ladies who start sex as early as before 15 years. And maybe the reason why you have that sex is because you are not a woman as you can as if you are one of the things.
Jonas, Papa Tim. Senior, our best friend. Sansa, if you are not making your mother best friend, make your sister. Mm. If you have one, make your cousin best friend. Sansa, mm. don't make a boy or a man as a best friend. You do too much of an affair, the other two. Sansa, I'm not sure you have a junior. I'm not sure you have Okay? Make your mother's best friend. Tell them, share. Tell your mother, this is what I, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I, this is what I experience in school. Sansa, and also when you're in school, you have one close mother and teacher in your life. See you. And you share your, your experience with her. Sansa, and then put your focus on your studies. Now, let me just stop there. Because today, we were privileged. We normally talk to, so I want to introduce the mother. And then she can introduce the group. Then our main girl, who is also the age, how old are you? 16. How old are you? 19. How old are you? 17. Good. The girl is 17 years old. Okay? So I want to, to welcome the mother, just give a brief introduction, and then we are going to continue. She wanted to do something. Government and you are married. Because I was Kenya. So this is home. Um, she wanted to do something to help her. And the Kamambia, she doesn't accompany her because she doesn't know what to do. The Kamambia is fine now. Talk to people and see what you want to do. I found Lisa and Lisa, I found a few suggestions. Then when she learned, and she will tell you that uh, we all learned that when we come in the I was, I can say, privileged. We do people on the young people on the and at least they could do some shopping for us, but not everybody at home able to find a connected to you. So, thinking about what you mean, you're like, I miss Shule because of the sanitary pads. Okay, yeah, yeah, first we put a shock. How did that happen? Because the yeah, air yeah, is not a um, But I'm going here because you are not busy to begin with. But she knew what to do to ask from friends to mobilize people and see if they can help you know, to our fans, to our dancing, to our speaking, to our speaking. And what we want there to coordinate the ladies who are going to work with them to do what? To know the best way to go about it. So, me and Nika Dev, we're going to push for more years. Okay, then they even end there. So, you guys are the right age to do anything you want. Now she's 17, and I'm going to have this idea. You don't have to have the funds. We are learning from this idea all of you, not only from the age of 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 the of the age 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 of to like she promote like in the same town and everything. So like the most is like their child as well. Not just her but many other friends. Um, so you got a lot of support from the church and the family and, and the friends. So now some of us are here who are able to contribute to you know, you know, the money, the problem like that. But when you're cooperating, Thank you. 
when it applies. So, you see your goal then, uh, when you have that, it's really normal, please. When you see a new open-aid program, you have to say, yeah, I to end then, that, that issue of uh, not being afraid for some of your people, I was very happy on you, and you know, just, you just took it also, you know, the, I want to help my age mates, and that's why we're here. So, Mr. Bobe, I know when I was at your age, so they didn't put, put a whole one in, but they don't bite. If you go to them saying about the boyfriends, you're not going to talk about me, do what? So much. But if you approach me, you're going to be in the relationship there, I took the idea. I don't know how you're going to say, I don't know how you're going to say, I took the idea. So don't be afraid. Make teachers your friends. Then, back then, I didn't have anybody to keep telling me over and 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 over with whatever problem you have, I'm sure I want to put that one with a gun on you. No query. So they would not. I don't know. I don't think about food. I don't come out. I don't know if you're not going to do it. Because teachers understand. I don't know if you're going to be a psychologist. I don't know if you're going to be a psychologist. They have learned something. They have learned enough to know. Sing them to the point number one. Or they can know your struggles. At that time, what I gave to you that was that is what I said, you know, the issue with your mind. So, we'll see your goal. The main reason we are here, me, you, yeah, starting with class, and we will see how that was to say before uh, we we'll proceed to the class. Hi, everybody, I'm Jane McKay. Uh, my name is Naomi Nemosi. I'm 17 years old, and I'm from Nemosi. Um, I study in the US and in a state called North Carolina. I'll be entering in August, that's when our term starts. And um, also, like we said, we visited um, Sensei today and. Yeah, it's hard to say that again. We visited those two schools along with Mwangi today. And um, I started this project in order to eliminate. Study abroad. 
that's what you'd like to do. If you'd like to study in the US, if you'd like to study in Europe, anywhere you'd like to study, you can make it. And um, nothing should stop you because you can do it. Don't reach, don't aim for the sky. That's not the way you go beyond the sky. Anything. Stars out there, you can do it. If you set your mind to it, you can do it. Yes.
then you remove you remove it like that don't throw that one away there's a purpose for it just keep it this is the like if you're changing your pipe you will use this when you're changing your pipe then come I go like inside out equal right right side then this is inside out Make sure you go inside out. So Nancy Ambele, remember, uh, Madam Sister Litombia, kuna menona, kuna na kwetu wa kumbele. You have to give it enough, enough uh, coverage, because if you don't, you go into stain your underwear. Just, just mele kidogo. Yeah, like right there. Good. Okay. So these parts, they have, this side is narrow, this one is wider. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are to wider, so you have to put the wider part right here. Like that. After you do that, right? Munana. But if you have this, because he has wings. wings, And it's good for you because it's going to protect your sights. And you don't stay in Ngo. <coughs> so then you remove that part. Ikisha kwa mounted perfectly. Then you flip these wings. The wings are going to go inside the now the right side. Una yaka ivi. Na hii side una kuja una yaka ivi. That's why make sure it was secure. Sometimes they don't stick. They don't stick. Kama you sweaty, kama your underwear is wet, it doesn't stick. Kama you have a chance to go kwenda ku change, go change and have a dry underwear. Lafu kisha, kisha nini? Kisha yaka ivi. And you, na rudisha. Vizuri. Hii ni kama. But come on, it's just because I know how to do it exactly. <laughs> but this is the way it looks. No, no. Perfectly, nicely, okay. Nobody will know come on, Never. Watch out from there, come on, Never. That is all confidence. Okay, this. Um, I want to thank the friends of this school for coming around to give a talk to our students on, on their reproductive health and uh, for the items that you have donated to us. We are very grateful and uh, we believe the, the, the items that you have given, the sanitary parts to our girls, the panties to our girls, will help them in uh, maintaining their dignity and especially at this age when uh, they are teenagers and they need it most. I want to believe that uh, this will go a long way in ensuring that the girls remain in school so that they can study to avoid a lot of time wasted during their periods. For the boys, they have been given uh, vests. This is a very good gesture for our friends and we do believe it will uh, boost us as a school and even uh, help in improving our mean and the performance. We are very grateful for this group 
you are welcome next time. Thank you so much. My name is Samuel Orina Onsare, the David Principal, Mongwani Secondary School. My name is Davis Nabeni. Uh, we have been organizing this initiative. We started last year. So today we are here at Mongwani. We have uh, done a distribution of Santa parts, pants, and uh, vests to boys. This time around, we decided to incorporate boys because they are the greatest security uh, uh, to our girls in the communities. So we are very happy for the 12 wishers who supported this culture and the boy child of Mongoni Secondary School so that they can remain in school and put a smile on their face daily. Thank you so much. My name is Naomi Nyamusi Irobiro and I'm a student back in the US. I'm going to Form 4 in August. And when I learned of the lack of pads and um, girls missing out on school, it really touched me and I decided to take initiative and reach out in my community community to raise funds to purchase sanitary towels to provide for these school age girls. And I hope to see them work hard and not have this, I hope to eliminate this um, problem of sanitary towels lacking in school age girls so that they can succeed in life and get far and achieve what they want to achieve. Um, when I learned that girls miss out on school, it really touched me because education is very important to me and I believe education is what sets the path for you to even get a job and to excel in your life. And many people, um, many girls I've heard become pregnant and maybe drop out of school or because of their period they'll miss like three days of school or even up to seven days of school. And it's very important for for a child to go to school, even as a fellow student, um, I'm pri privileged to say that I haven't had this problem, but when I learned of others, girls like me who have this problem, I decided that I should reach out and help them. I reached out in to my community and raised funds in order to purchase sanitary towels and panties for the girls, and they should sustain them for about a year's time. Doing this more consistently once I, um, I plan to expand and even go to more schools and be able to even come consistently, maybe yearly, and per, um, provide enough sanitary towels for a year so that more girls can be reached, awareness can be, can be created, and the problem can be eliminated. Okay, my name is Vivian Moinde. I'm a teacher by profession. And uh, having been working for some five years with the school going girls, we came up with a decision, let's just put up our minds together and let's end the teenage pregnancy and say no, just stop the teenage pregnancy and the menstrual stigma so that this girl can have the education that she needs. My name is Asuma Rotu Emoto. I'm a mental health practitioner, I'm a psychologist. Today we were invited here by the team that was offering pads and panties to our girls. We had an opportunity to talk about mental health because there's no way you can separate mental health with any other condition. So it is important that even as we also consider that the physical hygiene and menstrual hygiene of our girls, we also consider their mental health because mental health is very vital. So it has been a privilege to speak to the girls. We also have the opportunity to speak to the boys about general mental health. We don't want to assume that our boys don't also go through the same. So it is important that mental health is talked about until it becomes part of us. So that is why we are very excited to be here to talk about mental health. It is something that we are passionate about and we are praying and hoping that as we continue working with the, with the team that came, it will also provide more opportunities for us to be able to talk about mental health. But at the end of the day, we'll have our girls and our boys who are healthy, both physically and mentally. So I believe that today was a success. We are hoping for more of these more of this opportunities and chances to speak about mental health. Okay, maybe in relation to our, our topic today on menstrual health, most of our girls tend to go through depression. And because once they have, uh, they have been uh, in a situation where they can't come to school, they don't have pals, they are ashamed of themselves, they are ashamed of that situation for the seven days or 
or three days, most of them might draw withdraw back they might not be comfortable coming to school they might not be comfortable talking to other people who are not going through the same thing so most of them might be uh, victims of depression depression is common among our girls most of them they might not realize that it's depression but we mental health workers are able to identify uh, some signs that you can see from our girls even our boys for you to be able to tell that this is depression so to answer your question i think the most common condition is depression among our girls and also considering probably the background that they come from we don't know where they come from we don't know the type of struggles that they go through so basically generally speaking depression could be one of the main main mental health among our our young adults as we go to school one of the best things to do is to talk about it. I was talking with the boys and I was telling them that sometimes it's not easy for you to talk about mental health. But uh, if we create an environment for you to talk about your environment, for you to talk about how you feel, it will give us uh, a step ahead. We will know that we've conquered one step. So the next step will be probably taking action about the, about the condition. So the best and simple thing to do is to talk about it. We give so much information that you as a person will be aware of your environment, you'll be aware of yourself. So information is the best. Once you, we've given out enough information about mental health, about depression, it will be easier for me to come out and talk about it.